There has been a lot of talk this week about Joe Biden's picking his running mate. Joining him now to discuss the possibilities and potential impacts are Democratic strategist Kelly Hyman, the vice chair of the American Conservative Union, Charlie Giroux, and national security and foreign policy analyst Ari Aramesh. Thank you all. Let's start with you. Kelly, you're on top. You're from a library. Looks like Ari's from London somewhere and Charlie's in a car driving around. Kelly, we'll start with you. Who will Joe Biden pick and who should Joe Biden pick? Well, Joe Biden should pick Michelle Obama. She would be a great choice. So, Ms. Obama, if you're listening, please, please, please accept the nomination. She is well liked by the Democratic Party and the American people. However, I do not think that she'll take the nomination. And so I think that Biden will ultimately pick Susan Rice. Mm, there you go. That's an interesting. You know, I, I, I think the Susan Rice and Kamala Harris are the odds on favorites. And again, we're doing this prior to, to, to any pick. But uh, I agree with you 100 percent. Michelle Obama, he should pick her. She should take it. Even if they don't win, you come back next time. And, and Michelle Obama, if she wants to, if she's any aspirations to be president of the United States, wouldn't be a bad time to start that. What about Charlie Giroux? What do you say? Who should uh, Biden pick Biden pick for VP and who will he? He should pick the person who is most qualified to be the next president of the United States, because the chances that the president lasts an entire term may be quite limited, given his age and personal condition. So I think people are going to be looking very, very seriously at who can lead the country. And Joe Biden has obviously cut off a significant portion of the population by saying he'll only select a woman. And now there's a strong hint that he'll only select an African-American woman. Who will he pick? I think he'll pick Kamala Harris because, frankly, she's a safe pick and he's running a Rose Basement strategy, which is based on pure safety. All right. Uh, by the way, eyes on the road, Charlie, eyes on the road while you're talking. We'll, 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 we'll work around that. Um, all right. Who should Joe Biden pick and who do you think he will? See, I want to make a transition from what you said. Eyes on the road, safety first. Safety first. Electability, electability, electability. Uh, Joe Biden needs a VP that adds something to the ticket. Now, uh, we know the Democratic ticket is going to be a woman, most likely a woman of color. But remember, uh, Eric, a bad VP can destroy your ticket. A good VP doesn't add much. So I would say don't pick the bad one. Go for someone good. A good VP will never get you elected, but a bad VP will make sure, like Sarah Palin, that you will be distrusted and your judgment will come into question. So I'll go for Susan Rice. Uh, Stanford alum and also Kamala Harris, a California uh, a, a, a sort of citizen. So uh, my pick is on those two, and they will add plenty, both executive and national security and legislative experience, and they will be ready to go from day one, hit the ground running. What happened to, uh, I already stay with you for a second, what happened to Stacey Abrams? She was all the rage six months ago. Now she's falling out of that, Susan Rice and Kamala Harris and, and the uh, the congresswoman from the, uh, California as well. What happened? Bass, what, Karen Bass, what changed? Yeah. So, uh, Karen Bass or uh, Stacey Abrams, uh, very, very, very uh, legit, very smart, felt well, well credentialed, but no experience. I want someone, some, Susan Rice, great foreign policy experience. Mala Harris, former attorney general. She also has experience in the Senate. I want somebody who can hit the ground running. And also, we want to expand the uh, tent. We want to have a wide ranging tent. Uh, Good thing is in our party, unlike the Republican Party, even if Joe Biden hadn't promised a woman or a woman of color, we could have gone for a Latino woman, Latino man, LGBT, you name it. We had it. We could go for it. We have a big fence. But I don't think Stacey Abrams is going to do it. And I don't think uh, Congresswoman Karen Bass is going to do it. Uh, Susan, Her uh, Susan, Susan uh, Rice or Kamala Harris or, for that matter, uh, 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 Governor Whit uh, Whitmer of, of, of uh, Michigan. Great executive experience. Uh, we'll see what it goes. But again, there are no real bad options amongst the top three, top four well, contenders I, sure for Joe that, Biden. I'm going to push back on you. I'll, I'll throw it to Kelly. The, the bad options could be Governor Whitmer. And she's had really getting beaten up, beaten up in some some of her decisions surrounding co coronavirus. Some of the, the decisions about, you know, showing favoritism to her own family, to her husband, being able to go to their lake house and be able to put their boat in the water when everyone else is locked down. Are, are there any, um, let's call it uh, campaign killing picks in, in your mind? 
Absolutely not. I think whoever Joe Biden pick is is going to do going to do a great job and represent our country really well. I mean, we have to think what's going on in our country. We have over a hundred thousand deaths because of coronavirus. I mean, we are in a recession and people are struggling financially, personally, professionally. And so I think they're ready for a change. And no matter who Biden picks, it's going to be a good choice. And he's not picking a woman because he's picking a woman, he's picking a woman because they're best qualified for the position. And that's what's going to happen with the Democratic Party. We're going to move forward in 2020. And I truly believe we're so, going to so win. Kelly, can I ask you, he did say he was going to pick a woman and he said it'll likely be a woman of color. He didn't say because they're best qualified. He said because he was going to pick a woman. I mean, we're, he hasn't named anyone yet. It could be anyone, but he has chosen a woman. So, so he's 100 percent sure that there's not a better male, even if it's a male of color, that he could pick as a VP candidate? Well, I'm going to have to push back on that in that regard. He's picking someone that they're qualified for the position. I mean, look at the people that are allegedly up for the position. They are well qualified and deserve it. And, and some Kamala Harris ran for president herself. So no matter who he picks, it's, it's going to be a great choice of the people that he's considered. And I think it's right. admirable that if he does pick someone of, of color, because a majority of Democrats support an African-American yep. woman, VP. No doubt. So, no doubt. I think it's a smart, it's a why. If you want to win, that's a wise thing to do. Charlie, I only have about a half a minute or so. Let's assume we care, everyone cares about the country if Joe Biden is, is, is president in 2021. Who, do you, who does a conservative want to see as vice president? Well, I mean, here's the situation. There are an awful lot of male Democrats, I'm sure, that are going to be surprised to hear that they're not qualified to be vice president because of their gender. I never did understand the boom of Stacey Abrams, a woman that lost a vote by, uh, lost an election by basically the size of a small city and said it was somehow yeah. stolen from her. And then you had Congresswoman Bass yeah. from uh, California, who's Fidel Castro's best friend. I mean, these are the cast of characters that Joe Biden is putting forth. None of them, none of them are gonna be the people that you would want to run the country if Joe Biden, for some reason, were A, elected, and B, unable to serve all four years. Kelly, Ari, and Charlie, thank you. Charlie, eyes on the road, my friend. Thank you for joining us. I'm on the side of the thank road. Thank you. Okay, good. <laughs> thank you. Good to be with you. Thank you.